on the heels of league championship week here on SEN, where seven teams took home gold over a seven day span and which now takes center stage on this week's top plays. Championship week started with EPC girls and boys lacrosse last Tuesday, ladies first, of course, where Pleasant Valley and Emmaus met in the title tilt for a third straight season. Green Hornets started slow, but after falling behind 6-0, outscored the Bears 4-3 the rest of the way, getting goals from four different players. Jordan Pohl's third quarter finish among the highlights, faking high and shooting low to beat PV netminder Abigail Borger. Emmaus face guarded Pleasant Valley's top two scores, limiting Devin Bush and Riley Rapp to just two goals apiece, but Olivia Rapp took advantage of the extra possession time, leading all players with two goals and three assists in the winning effort. The junior, with 10 points all season, had five in the finale as Pleasant Valley three-peats as league champions with a 9-4 to four win. Repeat champions over on the boys' side here in 2024 as well, as Easton claimed its second consecutive East Penn Conference crown and fourth in program history, thanks to a resounding 12-4 win over top-seeded Emmaus. Red Rovers junior Cale DeSora led the way with four goals in the championship triumph, assisting on three more. Easton scored the first five goals of the match, including three in the first five and a half minutes, and never looked back in handing the Hornets their first loss to a District 11 opponent all season. DeSora's big night helped put him north of 40 goals for the season. He and his fellow Red Rovers are on to the district semis now where they face District 2's Delaware Valley in the final four tonight. All eyes then on boys volleyball on Wednesday. Parkland appearing in its fourth straight final. The Trojans are two time defending EPC champs and they made it clear right from the jump they were well on their way to a three-peat. Parkland with senior setter Will Stiles at the service line raced out to an unprecedented 15 to nothing lead in game one and never looked back. Stiles with four aces during the scoring surge. He finished with five in total while fellow classmate Owen Rogers had five points as well. Part of his 10 kill effort for the match. Trojans took the opener 25 to nine, ultimately sweeping Whitehall three sets to none as Parkland would go on to win its fifth EPC Boys Volleyball Championship and now the 15th league title in Parkland Boys Volleyball program history. Back outdoors then on Thursday for the Colonial League Baseball finale. West Division winner Northwestern Lehigh taking on East Division champ Wilson where the Warriors made history, capturing their first league baseball championship in 16 years. Andrew Sagrestano and Zach Cardos, each with two hits apiece for Wilson in support of starter Sean Danielson, who allowed just one run and three hits over six innings before Hunter Stasek came on in relief, holding off a late Tigers rally in preserving the Warriors 3-2 win. Wilson with its first Colonial League baseball crown since 2008. Northwestern also in the softball finale then on Friday. Tigers appearing in their fourth straight title tilt, but after back-to-back -back silver medal finishes in 22 and 23, Northwestern was able to get back atop the mountain here in 2024. That thanks to a couple of clutch knocks. Tigers grabbed their first lead of the day in the fifth after a two-run homer off the bat of sophomore Abby Dunstan. Palisades immediately tied it in the top of the sixth, though, before Northwestern senior Izzy Acolytus delivered the biggest hit of the season. A two-out, two-run laser out to left, plating Lily Cannon and Sage Toman and putting the Tigers in front for good. Northwestern outlasts the Pirates 5-4 for its first Colonial League championship since 2021. The Tigers second now in the last four years. Certainly a special night for those young ladies to be sure, but did anyone in the Valley have a better Friday evening than Liberty's Jack Evans? The senior infielder celebrating his 18th birthday in style, sparking the Hurricanes to their second straight EPC Baseball Championship. Evans scored Liberty's first run of the game, a critical response after Becca opened with a pair in the top of the first. The senior then singled in the third and later came around to score again on a knock by Paul Erfel. Evans, part of the Canes offense that played a dozen runs in total, in earning a mercy rule victory over the Golden Hawks. Liberty has now won nine of its last 10 games and is 18 and five overall, heading into the District 11 6A tournament. Where the Canes earned the number one overall seed at a first round bye in that seven team field. 
And finally, you saw it earlier in our show, League Championship Week finally wrapping up last night with the EPC softball finale, where it was deja vu all over again for the Nazareth Blue Eagles. They not only secured their second straight conference championship, but garnered gold thanks to another stellar outing in the circle from Avery Kaufman. As a freshman a year ago, she racked up 10 strikeouts versus Northampton. Yesterday, it was 10 more punch outs, this time against Pleasant Valley. The now sophomore retired nine of the first 10 batters she faced, setting down seven by way of strikeout. She straighted two in scoring position in the fourth before leaving the bases loaded in the fifth. Over the last two East Penn Conference softball championships, Kaufman has now registered a hugely impressive 20 strikeouts over 10 and two thirds innings of work. Congratulations to the Blue Eagles and all of our league champions.